So the Hudson Hornet was actually pretty short-lived as cars go. Hudson produced it from 1951 until 1954, at which point a merger occurred and Hudson became a part of the American Motors Corporation. AMC closed Hudson's Detroit factory and moved production to a facility in Wisconsin. Uh, they made some radical changes to the Hornet, including some cheesy design changes. It is Wisconsin, after all. Then, with uh, the AMA ban on factory racing support in 1957, the Hornet was no more. Uh, today, they are a pretty rare find, and the average one uh, sells for around $60,000. Matchbox started producing the casting in 2017, and with the cast-in siren and roof lights, it was pretty much an emergency vehicle uh, with police or fire livery. Uh, except the 50th anniversary Golden Series, which was a commemorative design released in 2019. This particular casting is also a 2019. Uh, you may remember uh, in February, the Three Blind Mice did an event featuring the Hot Wheels version of the Hornet, commemorating NASCAR history. I did this wee Hudson Red Line, if you recall. Uh, this time around, I wanted to attempt a project which I thought was pretty challenging. Uh, like most policing agencies, nearly 100 years ago, New York City police cars were black. In 1935, a two-tone scheme was adopted, black fenders with a green body and roof, and the legend has it that this was a nod of the dominantly Irish makeup of the police department. Uh, there were some changes in 37, but by 39, black fenders, green body, and, right, and white roof was the norm. In 1949, Ford Tudors were produced without detachable fenders, so they just taped the back quarter off and painted it. This lasted until 1972. By the way, the 109th Precinct served northeast portion of Queens, including downtown Flushing, East Flushing, Queensboro Hill, College Point, Malba, Whitestone, Beechhurst, and Bay Terrace. Trust me, any cop who uh, polices in a place called Flushing has my respect. I painted the casting with duplicolor white primer, then duplicolor white gloss. I taped off the roof and painted the green next with Tamiya X5. I clear coated it before I taped the car and painted the black fenders with Tamiya X1. I did a bit of detail work, including chroming the grill and bumpers with a Molotov pen. Uh, I have to give a shout out to Jim Silva who helped me out with some white decals. It's not perfect by any stretch, but I do like how it turned out. And yes, this was originally going to be a three blind mice project, and we kind of uh, abandoned those types of builds a few months ago. Uh, I have noticed a lot of Hudsons being built in July, so at the end of the month, the three blind mice is going to do a Hudson review on the three blind mice channel. <laughs> I hope you like the project. This is Time Rider, and I'll leave the light on for you. <laughs>